Hello, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we'll see if the monkey cycle even fits in the monkey cycle camper. Cue the intro. Okay, so just a really quick catch up if you're new to the channel. So we've got a monkey cycle, we go on some really cool adventures and the one thing that we decided to do was buy a camper van to make into the monkey cycle camper van that we can put the bike on the back, head out to some absolutely awesome places and film some amazing challenges and some fun stuff. Now what I did was I bought a camper van from 1983 off of eBay, never seen it and then I paid someone to deliver of the van so from there I've got all excited and I've started painting it and doing things and I wanted to get it to stage one and stage one was a easy system to load the bike on make it look nicer inside and basically fill it up with stuff so it's a usable camper van so we can get our first trip because let's look at it at the minute while I'm filming this we're potentially only a couple of weeks away from the campsites opening and we're waiting hopefully for the government to turn around and say that they can open campsites with shared facilities otherwise I'll be weeing and pooing on a potty and in a bottle on a campsite so I'm hoping for that but anyway I woke up this morning with this dreaded feeling of going, I've bought the camper van, I got a tape measure when it first arrived and went, yeah, I think the bike will fit-ish. And I just continued getting on with it. And I just thought, what if the monkey cycle doesn't fit? So today's that day that we're gonna actually just test loading the monkey cycling and seeing if this amazing system actually works. Now, when I say amazing system, me and the psychic sat down. We opened a bishop's finger, we drunk the ale, and we did that thing that really clever people do, that to be honest is a rare thing for us. We got a piece of paper and sketched a whole design down on the loading system for the monkey cycle. Now the big plan of the camper van and the loading cycle is, is that it's gonna be smooth, easy, and it will fit, and it's something I'm not gonna spend absolutely hours doing. So we've sort of designed using other bits of kit that you can buy to make the system work. So I'm gonna run through that system before we load it. And you'll see the genius, the genius, that we are in creating this system. And you know, if you want to copy the system in your camper van, then please do, because again, we're geniuses ish not not really but anyway check out this system okay so we'll start with the anchor points we've got four anchor points here this is drilled in he's put a plate behind here the side kit to hold that in place so we've got one there we've got one there so the bike's going to come on board and then we've got two anchor points at the front as well so it's quite a light bite and i'm hoping this is going to work these seem to be pretty good if i can get the things off come on Hang on, I just need to engage pie strength. There we go, perfect. So they're the anchoring system. Now we've come up with an absolutely ingenious system for the bike to sort of sit in here, something to sit on like a cradle system. So we've taken the actual front wheel sort of, um, I don't even know what it's called to be honest, but it's the thing that you roll the bike into and it sort of clamps it on. And we've come up with a design system. Now inside here we have four, Allen keys. Check out this system. So the whole point of it is it's quick and easy and removable. So we've got four Allen keys. And we've got this. This wheel chock system. So this literally now slides down here like this. Okay. This slides into place. Just like this. And then from here, what we do is we feed these in so anchors it. So the wheel chock then means that the bike will roll up and we've made little ramps I'll show you in a minute and clonk into this and strap down using good old fashioned straps. Hopefully with all that in place the bike won't go anywhere but we'll find out. Okay so this is the system really quick and easy. You literally drop your allen keys with drilled hole through. Boom. 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 And then finally, boom. That's it, okay? And then obviously this drops down here. And then what we've got over here, 
head behind here in its perfect place is the ramp. So the ramp then goes here like this. And there we go. We've got the ramp on to the actual system itself. We just take the fold out ramp. And then that's pretty much it. We have the loading system in place. So check out this unique, cool, fast track way of loading your motorcycle. Okay, so I've gone through the setup, the whole idea, the unique loading system that I'm sure many people probably already use. But anyway, this is the moment I'm gonna, for the first ever time, load this motorcycle onto the camper. There's no practice run before this. I literally only got the piece of wood from the sidekick because he made it in his workshop only literally a couple of days ago and it's been sat in the camper ready to go. So this is the first test. So keep your fingers crossed. Let's hope I don't drop the bike or it just doesn't fit and there's a big issue. And hopefully if this fits, as soon as, as soon as the government say that we can go and book, we can book and actually have a date to go. So <laughs> this is the moment. This is the moment it's either gonna be really cool and go in and I'll be really impressed or I've spent a lot of money and a lot of time on something that just doesn't work. So anyway, let's find out. Okay, here we go. So the plan is to have the engine running and be able to use clutch control and throttle and be able to walk it up doing that so I'd have no pushing. I've done it on purpose the wrong way on the driveway. It's a slight gradient, obviously sort of to the right and up as well to make it a little bit more difficult because in reality that could be where I'm unloading it and loading it on a campsite. So, <laughs> fingers crossed. Let's try and do this. No, saying that, we can do this. We can do this. Check this out. Please work, please work. Yes, yes, right. Okay, strapping system time now. Okay, so we're gonna start with the back and then move to the front because the back's the most easiest access so it doesn't fall out in the meantime. Hmm, where am I gonna mount it? I don't know where to mount it. Okay, I'm gonna mount it from the front first. Okay, so I'm gonna start mounting it from the front first because I can't seem to figure out how to do it from the back currently, but I will figure it out. I'm not giving up, I never do. That's one strap on. I don't know if it's the best location, but we're gonna have to investigate it a little bit more. But I just want to make sure right now it does it and then I'm going to look for better ways of doing it. Come on, we can get this in. It's going to fit all right, it's in. Right, front's in. Now I've just got to figure out the back. <sighs> anyway, we're getting there, we're getting there, come on. Whoa. Okay, so the only place I can see that I think is going to be secure and not cause any damage is, is not ideal because it's right near where the blinking chain goes to get grease on your fingers. But through here, and attach it onto here, strap this side up, light wise around the other side, 
I want to go higher for pivot, but it's all about, it's not heavy bikes, it's just about keeping it steady and stopping it from rocking, so that's the main point of the rear ones. So yeah, that is the plan for that bit. Okay, he's in. Whew. Should we have a look and see actually how sturdy this is? The old monkey bike. Right, that's how I'm going to do. There's only one wheel way to test see if this is safe with weight on, isn't it? And that's to sit on the monkey bike myself and see how it's doing. See, that strap there could particularly do with being a bit more tighter. But yeah. Right, let's try it. Let's see if it... Uh, <gasps> let's see if it's all right. Who knows? But the bike's in. Um, <laughs> will the door close? Let's find that out. I'm going to adjust that strap up a little bit and let's just see how it handles a little bit in the back. Um, it's worth taking it for a spin around the block just to test it out, I reckon. But yeah, I've been sweating and looking at it for about 10 minutes going, this, this isn't going to work. Everything's in the wrong place. I think it's in. It's just hopefully it won't cause any damage or bang off on this side because this is my sort of key point here. But I might just stick a little bit of padding or something here just for a little bit of protection as well but it's in right <laughs> it's in it's in look <laughs> yes so let's just take it for a quick spin and see if it doesn't fall apart break off or any of that lot um <laughs> fingers crossed it's going to be a very short spin but yeah let's just see let's just see if this stays together but look let's see if the doors close Oh, boom, boom, boom. Right then, let's fire the old girl up. Let's just hope it doesn't just like break, snap, do any of that stuff. Um, Cause that, you know, <laughs> if it breaks or snaps, that's gonna uh, damage the bike, upset me. I'll, I'll cry a little bit, a little bit of tears are gonna come out. Right, camper van test one. Round the block, see if we wreck our bike. If it all good, as soon as this is over, we're booking and we're going on an adventure. Right. Keep an eye on that monkey, keep an eye on that monkey. I need some air, I'm sweating. I'm quite intense. Their indicators. Just stand in Still there. All the body. Quite a bit of a bend, let's see if it moves and hits the side at all. Something else is falling off, but the monkey bike's still alright. Still alright. I think this is a success. I think we've done it. I think for a test one, a bit of figuring out, a bit of a minanara in, but I think we've got a workable monkey cycle van that carries the monkey cycle. No idea I'm going, I'm driving around this estate and I've completely lost my boo-boos. Yes, we made it. <laughs> Whew, now I've got to take it out. So I think every time I do it, I'm going to get quicker. That's important. And see how easy it is now to get out of the van. Now I've got it in. But we did it. We did it. I'm sweating my bum off. Okay, just a bit nervous, just a bit. Okay, so we can get this off. Okay, okay, that's easier than I expected.
We got it off. Woohoo! Well, there you go. That was a success. The whole point of that was, was that I was going to be able to put that on and off by myself. It was going to be quite a quick system. Something that can come in and out of the van. What leaves it, obviously, as the camper van for when I get on the trips. And I think, don't get me wrong, like everything, there's a few teething problems. You're figuring stuff out. And now I've done it once. Obviously, I'm going to be quicker, more confident and better. So on and so on every time I do it. But, yes, success. It all kind of worked. Nothing was damaged on the bike. Yeah, there's a couple of bits I'd probably like to put a sheet over or something just to protect it, just in case. But I can load it on. I can load it off by myself. So regardless, we get to go on the adventure in the monkey cycle. The bike fit in the back. It was fine, wasn't it? It was all right in the end. So as soon as, as soon as we can book a campsite, and ideally, I'll say it a million times, ideally, when they say that the facilities are open at the sites, we will go on an adventure in the monkey cycle van. Now, I have got it to the sort of, I said, stage one, and stage one is pretty much what you see. I'll give you a quick look. Stage one is pretty much this. I haven't changed these yet, the cushion covers. There is a plan to go sort of like a lime green with some funky banana style curtains. Um, but at the minute, I haven't got the budget available to be able to pay for that to be done. Currently, just to get the material and stuff for it, I'm looking at about 215 quid. So that's sort of part of stage two is, you know, redoing the carpets and stuff like that. And there's even a stage three, but I'll go on to stage three once I get there. So what I've done with stage one is, obviously, like I said, I've got the loading system in the, in the monkey cycle camper. Everything's the way we want it to be. We've got everything so we are ready to go. Like I said, we've got the cutlery and the drawers ready to go. We've got everything we need. Look, we've got, oh, not that one, that one. We've got, you know, all our pans and everything on our plates. We've even got a helmet head mug, but that's going to be only used for the extra billion time tasting better drinks. And obviously in here, we've got things like a heater and we've got chairs to sit outside and the rest of the table that goes into place. We've got our awesome fridge check it out just that's just for beer it's not like we're going to need to eat so yeah we're pretty much there okay so stage one of the monkey cycle camper van is done that means that it is usable that means that we can get the monkey cycle onto the back and we can drive around so the big plan of it is is to head south as soon as we can book a campsite with the facilities that are open because i do not want to eat in a bottle or poo in a potty i want facilities so as soon as we can get four facilities we will then be able to book a trip now hopefully the sidekick darren is going to be well on board with this and be coming along as well and the plan is is that we are going to head south and by i mean south i mean to the end of the world so we're going to go all the way to the southest part of the uk so ideally what we would really like is someone could build us a ramp about half a foot off of the ground and also a big ring of fire because we are going to jump through a ramp through a ring of fire and fireworks are going to shoot off that we've already got a youtuber who's going to bring some fireworks along for the show at the end of the world the monkey flying through a ring of fire i mean that is just going to be absolutely epic so they're the kind of big plans that we've got in place um, and that's sort of what's gonna happen now there's some more stages to this camper van there is a stage two to do with the upholstery like i said i've priced it up about 215 yeah 215 quid i think it worked out being once i'm able to raise the funds for that the inside of this is going to go to stage two what we'll do with the curtains and i'll say about the curtains in a second because the idea of that what we're having done is come from quite a special person and we're going to have um like lime green um like um, like cushions um, for the sofa area here and what makes it into bed um, and there's going to be monkey cushions and YouTube cushions and helmet head cushions and all that sort of stuff that's stage two then there's going to be stage three and stage three is to be putting some graphics on the outside of the vehicle we're having the main table in here with the helmet head logo that's going to be vinyled over the top or protected um, and that goes on to stage three sort of the big finish for the campfire but that's going to take time as always so as soon as we can uh, be able to raise funds for that to happen then happy days talking about funds so we have a patron if you're interested in becoming a patron to this channel what basically means it every single month it's like a magazine subscription if you want to look at it like that or like some people pay a tv license that we have to do in the uk it's a way of just supporting the channel directly so there's a link in the description for the patron site now i want to say a huge thank you to my patrons 
They are fantastic and you can join by the way for just one dollar that's about 80 pence a month and that gives you access to all the videos when they are made um, and sometimes they'll come out on YouTube within an hour and sometimes they don't come out for weeks so patrons get to really get to see things from this channel first that's absolutely excellent. Now saying about patrons I want to say a huge huge shout out to Steve Bolter. This guy is an absolute legend. He's a patron. He's a high tier patron as well. He has a lot of support to this channel. He basically watches the videos on Patreon early then he comes along for the live premiere chat so he can chat away and watch it again with everyone else. The guy is an absolute legend. He's been sending me lots of comments, lots of suggestions including the curtains for the camper are going to be banana curtains because he sent me a link to some material for that to happen. So I've taken that same one and I'm going to use it with a back black ground but at the end of the day that's due to Steve. Steve is the person who gave me the idea for that so Steve thank you so much for your support. You're a complete legend and uh, it's just a massive thanks buddy thank you so much also if you are subscribed to this channel thank you if you haven't please consider it there is a link to hit the subscribe button give us a thumbs up and don't forget also leave a nice comment don't leave a horrible comment because only horrible people leave horrible comments so please please leave us a nice comment and you know let's look forward to the next crazy nutty adventure there's lots and lots coming out and it's going to be a roller coaster of fun. But anyway, all that I need to say to you right now, and now this is really important, so listen closely. Move a bit closer to telly, a little bit closer, a little bit closer, and remember this. Eat pies, ride motorcycles, be happy. Bye-bye for now. Take care.